Am I doing another bodybuilding show? Am I competing again? All right, in this video, I want to discuss a few things. I want to discuss my post-show thoughts. I want to discuss, you know, like just how I felt about the show, how I thought things went, um, and then kind of my future as far as like competing and stuff like that. So let's dive right into it. So going into the day, I was extremely comfortable. I was extremely confident and I felt very calm throughout the entire day. Like it was one of those things where I've been there before. Like there was nothing to, there was nothing to even worry about. Like I, I was so much less stressed going into this show than the last one. And um, everything pretty much went exactly how I wanted it to go. Um, I thought I brought a better package than last year. My physique was better. My posing was better. Um, I agreed with the judges 100% on their picks as far as my class went. Um, literally someone in my class went to uh, Mr. Olivia two weeks later. So, I mean, I the competition was stacked and I agreed with how they placed us all. Like, I would... The thing about me, I like competing with like the best of the best and that's exactly what my class brought was the best of the best and that's exactly what the show brought. I mean, there were 600 competitors, like probably the biggest show in the, in the entire country, but like I don't want to be performing in some middle school gymnasium for a natural competition. I know um, summer shredding isn't it's not a tested competition, which sucks because like, you know, I'm a natural, but like at the end of the day, like that's the biggest stage that I can pretty much go on, like as far as without being like a pro, you know, so I'm stoked with how things went, like top five, like that's exactly what I wanted going into the day. So couldn't be more happy with that. Um, as far as like how the video ended, uh, me having to decide whether or not I wanted to go compete in the championship the next day or just call it call it there. I'm so happy that I made that decision to call it there. Uh, I just don't think I would have even placed in the championship show. Like I've I seen I seen like the classes and like kind of which classes I would have been in. I don't even think I would have placed at the championship show which was the next day I would have had to pay for everything, uh, get ready for everything, get the tan redone, do everything all over again. It was a quicker show, but it's still like, it was still like, like our show was a 15 hour day, that show was like a 10 hour day still. So it's like, it would, it would have just been a lot the next day anyways. Um, and I'm like super, super happy with the decision I made to not compete the next day. It's currently one month post show right now, like exactly a month post show, November 22nd. So like thinking back like these past four weeks on the show, um, I'm very satisfied with what I brought to bodybuilding as far as like the summer shredding goes. Cause like, I think genuinely, I think I just went into it wanting to get a medal to be up on that stage and to be like, you know, just bring some hardware home. I genuinely, I don't think I wanted to get first, second or third. I just wanted the hardware, which is weird because coming from powerlifting, I only want first. Like I, there's a different like level of, um, there, there's more in control when it comes to powerlifting for me, it's like you either hit the numbers or don't, very not subjective. So like, I always was like, okay, well, I want to be the best. Like I, I can bring the best to the platform. I knew I couldn't exactly bring the best to the stage, especially I competed in powerlifting for in natural competition. So like I was drug tested and stuff like that. So was everybody else versus like a competition like Summer Shreddy where it's like, hey, I don't know what these guys are running. I'm gonna bring my best as a natural, but I don't know what they are running. Uh, so I guess it just wasn't as much in my control. So I just I think I just wanted to go up there, show that I belong, that I had a physique, 
that could stand with, you know, the top guys in there. So I'm really happy with how that went. So that brings me into my future with bodybuilding. Am I doing another bodybuilding show? Am I competing again? I don't know. I do not see myself competing anytime soon. I don't see myself stepping on stage anytime soon. I actually, right after the show, I sent a message to Alex. I said, hey, give me a week to come up with my decision of like, hey, do I want to move forward with competing and stuff like that? I was like, I'm 99% sure that I do not want to step on stage anytime soon. And he pretty much was like, well, it sounds like, you know, you pretty much decided yourself then because like coming off a stage like you normally would have a hunger to get back up on the stage and i was like yeah that makes like it makes sense but i'm gonna go think about it and we you know spent time with family friends back in pennsylvania and i'm gonna make my decision um my next check-in and i basically just sent him like two huge thank you videos essentially saying like how much i appreciated you good. I pretty much sent him two thank you videos, just thanking him for everything he's done, thanking him for everything that he helped me achieve through bodybuilding. And just like, I never would have been able to bring that physique, bring the posing, bring any of that without him. And I was truly thankful for everything that he's done for me over the past, essentially two years of working with him. And I could not have asked for a better um, coach along the way. So. I thank him for all that. But yeah, huge shout out to Alex, great coach. He's building something special with Team Reform. I love to see it. But as far as moving forward, what am I focused on? So, I'm focused on a few things. One of the things I'm not gonna mention right now because it's still in the works. I'm still working very hard on it and trying to develop uh, a big future with it as far as that goes but as far as like competing I want to get back into powerlifting I mean powerlifting just has my heart like there's I've been doing it for like the past two weeks now and my strength is coming back my like I just feel so happy dude the dopamine rushes that I get during these powerlifting workouts is on another level like I, there's something about powerlifting that just like it's so fun to me and i just love it so much and it's something where in the past i've like dedicated my whole life to like powerlifting and stuff like that i don't exactly want to do that this time around i just want to incorporate powerlifting into my workouts and probably run up some competitions for fun like my next competition i'm not gonna unless i'm like within like three pounds of the weight cap or something i'm not gonna cut for it that's the one thing i didn't like that i had to do for powerlifting was like drop weight and cut and lose a tad bit of strength going into the the powerlifting meets but if i just either stay at the weight class I want to or just do it for fun. Like I genuinely am bringing so much more to the powerlifting this time around knowing what nutrition does to my body from bodybuilding. Like I didn't realize how much nutrition very much affected like my workouts, how I feel, all that kind of stuff. Like I've been eating, I've been eating good heading into my workouts and that's something I never did the first time around with powerlifting. Also, sleep this time around. Like, I know that I was only getting like four hours of sleep every night back when I was powerlifting, doing plumbing, all that kind of stuff. I would get home from the gym at like 2 a.m. and have to wake up for work at like 6.30. Like, that is the dumbest thing ever. I was making it work, but I don't know how I was making it work. So this time, if I have improved nutrition, improve sleep that's two things i can improve on this time around that i didn't have last time and i'm telling you i'm feeling super strong even just two weeks into this um powerlifting phase and i just i can 
I'm not competing until I can definitely come close to, if not definitely beat my numbers from last time. So it's not like something like I'm gonna st step into a meet and be like, oh, I'm gonna settle for like under 550 pound deadlift. No, once like once I'm like around that 550 pound deadlift, that's what I'll you know think about stepping into another meet. And there's two actually there's two meets here in Houston in like March and May. So if if I can get my strength back by then, who knows? Maybe I'll step one of those. But I'm gonna do it for fun. I know it's like. The competitor in me is still alive inside. That's why I can't give up competing like just yet. Like when you know, you know. Like when you know you're done with something, you just know. And I know that I was done with bodybuilding, but I know that I'm not done with competing. Like there's still a fire inside of me to compete again. And man, I, I love it. I love, I love the feeling of like striving for something or striving for a specific like event and stuff like that so i'm definitely not done with powerlifting just yet but i'm gonna treat it as fun as i can without getting as too serious as i can like i don't want it to like take up all my time because i do have other things that are working on right now um but that's kind of where i see myself as far as the future of me competing but also I mean, 20, let's say, let's say 2025, 2026, 2027 rolls around and I feel the urge to compete again for bodybuilding. I mean, who knows? Like maybe I'll step on, do some classic, show off the legs. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I would want to just like step on stage again and do men's physique only. Like it'd be nice to like try something new down the line and do a classic and you know, show off the legs a little bit. So I'm not closing the door on bodybuilding, but I I don't see myself doing it at a time soon. And it's, it's such a sacrifice to your life. Like, I guess you don't have to give up everything to compete, but in my situation and how I run things, I do have to give up everything to compete. Like I don't do anything fun outside of of uh, like working out, doing my cardio, posing, all that stuff. I co completely seclude myself from anything other than just training and doing cardio and posing. So it li quite literally takes over my life. And I know some people, they can you know, go out, have, have a little fun like along with it, but I just don't have fun doing that because I'm, it's just like, adds more to the suffering when you're just around people who are just like eating whatever they want. They're just like, they're having all this energy and stuff like that. And I only have so much energy to give when I'm bodybuilding. And I don't, I don't like to be around people and like have no energy. Like that's something I don't, I don't like at all. Like the, the quicker I could get from doing whatever I gotta do during the day, that's not part of bodybuilding that's the best like if I, if I only have two hours of like other things that i need to get done besides training cardio and posing like that's that's good for me so yeah it just takes over my life and i just don't see myself competing anytime soon it's it's a it's a huge sacrifice and it's not worth it in my opinion when it just comes down to an opinion at the end of the day but like I said, I agreed with every opinion that all the judges had on that day. So very happy with how the competition went. But other than that, as far as I guess, let's, let's just dive into as far as like YouTube plans go. I have a bunch of videos. <laughs> There's probably two or three YouTube videos that I filmed during prep and like before the show that I'll probably put out now. I wanted to do that. Uh, this year, I don't know why. I just felt like recording a couple and then putting them out post show. Um, I, I guess I just didn't feel like they were a part of the prep series. I wanted to keep the prep series, the prep series, and the, all that. But so I have a few of those videos on the way. And then, as far as content goes, 
I haven't really decided how, how I'm gonna take this channel. Um, do I wanna film my powerlifting? I'll probably I'll probably end up filming powerlifting, but I'm not gonna make it like a whole series and like do all that kind of stuff. I'll probably just post when I wanna post. And then I wanna get more maybe into the informative content, help you guys out because I guess I just don't wanna be always talking about me all the time. Like I'm kinda sick of talking about myself, like if I'm being quite honest. Like, I've documented the past 10 plus years to myself, and if I can add value by giving information rather than add value by showing you my journey, then I'll do that. But I can still show you my journey along the way. I can still give you tips, give you information that helped me in my situation and stuff like that. But that, that's kind of where I see my, the channel going. Um, but, but yeah, other than that, let me know, let me know what you guys want to see, I guess. If you want more informative videos, if you want me to still document my journey, um, and let me know your thoughts on me transitioning back to powerlifting. I know I got a lot of subscribers who've been with me through this whole journey so they know that I like powerlifting more and then I have a lot of new subscribers that have only seen me here in Houston doing bodybuilding and stuff I think I think the people here in Houston are kind of gonna be the, everyone here in Houston has only seen me as a bodybuilder and I've never done like powerlifting and stuff like that so it's really interesting um to be transitioning back into that. It's like, if, if you just subscribed and you've never seen any of my powerlifting stuff, like, just wait. Just wait. Because I know I'm gonna come back stronger than before. And we're gonna be better than before. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I don't know if, why you would have made it this long if you weren't subscribed. But subscribe if you're not subscribed. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Hit them post notifications so you know when I upload next. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.